I'm Dave Donaldson, welcome to Grip Tips. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to ND a window. Okay, so first things first, what is ND? Uh, basically, ND stands for neutral density. Uh, it's kind of the equivalent of what you would put on a camera. Uh, most of you guys out there would probably know this by uh, the filter that we normally use. Um, usually we put this on the front of a DSLR. Sometimes it's a box shape and we'll put it on the front of a camera. Uh, well, instead of doing that today, we're actually learning how to put it on a window in a couple of different ways. Now, before I go any further, uh, this is scrap ND that I got. Um, normally, when you buy an ND roll, it'll come in like a four, five foot uh, length roll, and then it'll roll out maybe 25 to 50 feet, and it'll usually cost you about $130, somewhere in that ballpark. I'm using scrap ND that I actually got from a uh, production that I worked on a couple of months ago, it was a commercial, and when we got done with the end of the day, we actually had all this scrap that they were just gonna throw away. Um, it's still kind of banged up, but it's not bad. Um, and I think it'll at least uh, prove the example and the importance of using an ND. So let's just pretend for a second that this is our shot. We've got our subject in the foreground, uh, I'm in focus, and then we have the picture frame and the flag in the background. We kind of like what's going on there, but we have that window on the right side, which is completely blown out. And you can see a little bit of detail, but really not enough. So we're gonna go ahead and throw ND on that. One of the first methods that I try uh, when NDing a window is I try to step outside of the window to see if I can't uh, gaff tape it on. When you're gaff taping to the outside of a window, make sure that the gaff tape doesn't go past the edge of the window because it will show up in our shot. Um, in fact, in this example here, you can see I still have a piece of uh, black gaff that's coming over the edge of the window. So I'll have to move it a couple of times until it's out of the shot. Another thing to keep in mind when you're gaffing on the outside is that it could be a windy day so you'll get this kind of effect, but just, you know, take the ND off and stretch it out as best as you can. Um, and usually that will help with the wind. I've done this about 30 or 40 times and even on a slightly windy day, you tend to not really notice it on the inside. Another way that you can actually put ND on the window is on the inside you could use uh, snot tape like I have here. Uh, it's basically like a double-sided sticky tape. So, but when I put on the ND, um, another thing that you would have to check for is light leaks. Like this top right corner has a light leak. So what I'll do here is I'll actually take the ND off and I'll just move it around until I get rid of the light leak. Snot tape is actually really, really difficult to get off of ND. So try and make this like your last option if, you, if that is the only option that you have. Okay, so that's the gaff tape and the snot tape method. That's more of a run and gun situation, more like a reality show or Maybe you're part of that, those 48 hour film challenges. Um, that's kind of a quicker way to do it. Um, however, if you're on a bigger Hollywood budget, let's say you got hired in with some sort of Marvel movie that would have come out or something like that, um, that production will actually have set time for you to go to a, a location and actually ND the windows the correct way, which is with Windex and a squeegee. And now I'm gonna show you how to do that. So this is just cleaning the window for this portion, um, you know, just with a squeegee and Windex or paper towel, you could use that too. Um, and then what we're gonna do is spray it again with Windex and take our neutral density filter and put it right on top of it. Um, you don't need any tape because it's basically just gonna stick right to it, uh, but then we'll spray it again with some Windex and then we're going to take the squeegee and run it across the entire length of the ND, corner to corner, all the way up and down. Try and squeeze as much Windex out of the ND, both on top and underneath, as much as possible. Then when you're done with that, you're going to take a razor blade and you're just going to basically cut out the frame of the entire window. And there you go. We're all done. Well, sort of. You see, the detail is kind of messed up because we have all these little bubbles and stuff. And some of them will go away because of the sun, but a lot of them are just because of dirt particles that the squeegee didn't get rid of the first time around. So these are just like little tiny specks of dust or dirt or whatever that probably got attached to the glass somehow. We're gonna get rid of it using this straight blade uh, that you can find at like uh, Home Depot for like three bucks. Um, and I find that the best way to do this is with some Windex and just start scraping the uh, wet area. And when you're done with that, wipe away with a paper towel and there you have it, it's all gone. We do have this little spot here, but that's on the other side of the window and that won't mess up our ND. Then when you've taken care of that, it's basically the exact same process. Clean the window, put on the ND, spray the ND, squeegee the ND, and there you have it. Before, after. You see, we brought in a lot more detail. Now, even though no audience is actually gonna be looking out this window, 
they would definitely be looking at it if it was still looking like this because it's just overexposed. But now that we actually brought it back in, looks this looks a lot more appealing. You know, it's not as eye-catching, but I think, you know, a big rule in film is subtlety. The way that we had it before, much, much better. So let's say that you already decided that you were gonna go out and buy uh, a couple of rolls of ND. Um, and you don't really know which ones to buy. Um, I know that there's different um, stops of ND that are out there, but the two most common that I run into all the time are 0.9 and 1.2. That's, that's pretty much all you need. So if you, let's say you wanted to buy two rolls for $260, uh, get one roll of 0.9 ND and then get one roll of 1.2 ND. One more thing that I wanna mention about scrap ND is that uh, even though this is great for like the example that I just gave, and also maybe for a couple of smaller projects that you might be doing on like a DSLR, or maybe you and your friends are making a, a film, that's fine. Um, but if you're on a bigger Hollywood budget or even just a short film budget, you should be using a brand new ND because it looks 10 times better. And actually when you apply ND, nobody should be able to tell the difference between that and regular glass. So I hope this helps. Uh, if you like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, you can follow me on my Twitter here, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.